It's my feel good breakfast show. Welcome back. Thank you so much for tuning in. You are live with Expresso. We really do appreciate you joining the family. Now, lots of excitement ahead of Rage, which is coming down to Cape Town. But we know one of the biggest focuses of Rage Expo is. VT and new technology. Certainly this year it's going to be creating quite a stir. And we've got with us to demystify virtual reality, Richard McCadam, um, the founder of The Virtual Space. Richard, welcome. Thank you so much. Thank you, Pat. Um, thank you for bringing your, your gadgets. Um, we love that on the show. We love taking news and virtual right. reality really is dominating this year. Talk to me about VT. What is, what is going on in the world of tech at the moment? Why has this become such a big property? Um, it's liable to be the next computing platform. Ever wow. since Mark Zuckerberg put $2 billion into um, Oculus, Oculus Rift. Uh, that just started the ball rolling and now everybody's getting into their game. Um, certainly our handsets seem to be driving that. So you brought something that looks very interesting, but it's cardboard and it doesn't look very technical, man. Talk to me about what you guys are actually do and what you're going to be doing at Rage. Well, this is a platform called Google Cardboard. And um, effectively, it's just a cardboard box. Now, you open it up, you flip it open, it's got two lenses and it's got a trigger switch. That's the cardboard box is now assembled. And um, you combine that with a Samsung phone. Yeah, just slip it right in there. And um, once you've opened your phone, which <laughs> no, it's not, not come right, no. there we go. <laughs> You, um, and then you've got a whole too. list of different uh, apps that you can play with. Um, an example is the uh, Google Street View app. Oh, for sure, okay. yeah. Now, Street View's got tons of material on it. So if we go to collections, um, there's, it loads up a, oh, now oh, it's coming with no internet connection. <laughs> um, okay, we'll go to the photographs. There we go. Um, right, here we go. We've got a whole selection of different photos here. We pop one in. And you just simply slip it into... Push the cardboard your... icon and you're on your way. Um, unbelievable. And this is making it accessible. And I think that seems to be where the driver is now. Can I have a little quick, quick squeeze? There we go. How have does that look? look? Through there. Oh, my goodness. And turn around. Dun, dun, dun. Uh, how does this work? Explain to me exactly what is going on inside this little device. How do those prisms work to create that? Um, the phone has got gyroscopes in it, and the gyroscopes track your movements. So you, you turn left, you turn right, and the phone works out what you're doing, and it it's presents the corresponding image for you. There's video, there's um, photographs, and there's games, of course. Incredible. I, I think it's worth getting down to rage just to experience that for yourself and see where the technology is going. I think something I have to ask, because we hear a lot of um, talk about augmented reality and then obviously virtual reality. You know, If you can, in a snapshot, demystify that for us. What is essentially the difference between augmented and virtual reality? Um, virtual reality shuts out the external world. It's, you, you put on your headset and then you're in a virtual space, and that's that. Um, whereas with augmented reality, the idea is that, um, that uh, virtual objects are placed into the physical world. Like in your Google Glasses kind of um, idea, yeah, yeah. Yes, uh, or HoloLens, Microsoft HoloLens is an example, um, where, where they place uh, educational material, um, informational oh. material, all of this, into your uh, physical space in the glasses. Awesome, man. Well, you can experience it all firsthand at the Rage Expo. It's going to be awesome. I know you're going to be um, displaying your wares there, but thank you for coming through and showing us um, how far we've come. And I love the fact that it's just so simple. Richard McAdam, founder of The Virtual Space. Thank you so much for thank joining you. us. Um, and get down to the Rage um, Expo in Cape Town. Show that they were right to bring it down to Cape Town. I know we've got a lot of techies down here that are eagerly awaiting it. But still lots coming up on your Feel Good Breakfast Show this morning. Zoe Girl.